If you ever want to feel like a celebrity, just let Sophie out of her kennel. <laughs> Baby. She just comes running downstairs. Love me, love me. Do you love your Sophie? Did you sleep good? Yeah? What did you and Sam do this morning? Can you tell me? We like a friend. So the kids let Sophie downstairs. And that's what they always do in the mornings. Um, Sophie comes down and then they take her potty. Well, they had been missing for a good 20 minutes. Come to find out, they were reading stories. Sam was reading to Sarah. That is pretty dang amazing. Going through the Jonah box. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know this is, this is where I put all the Jonas stuff. All the that crap I find. I leave lying around. <laughs> we just got in from the chores, and Sam brought in something sad. So we've got a, a sweet little baby that didn't make it. Um, there's no injury to it, so it doesn't look like the um, Falcon took, like, hurt it. And Hard to lose, huh? Are my but we have more out there. This has been a hard batch to keep alive. It has, I'm not even sure why. I mean, it's cold, yes, but maybe that's maybe it's the maybe that's why. hardship of winter. Yeah. So we'll just we'll keep trying, won't we, bud? While you're out there, will you check and let's get a count of how many's left, okay, bud? Do you think you could find them and count them? Because we make records, so we need to make sure that we account for the ones that are lost and keep it on the record. Black rabbits are my favorite. Black ones are? Mm. Mm -hmm, that rabbit was my favorite one too. Oh. It's and sad, panda. Huh? It's sad. There'll be more bunnies coming though. Mm -hmm. These guys are awesome, making late breakfast. Um, I just went out and it looks like Bell's burrow flooded. And um, we're not used to seeing that small of babies being out and about in the colony. And this is probably why I'm beating myself up that I didn't check that I didn't look down the burrow. So um, we're just gonna see what upgrades we can make in the spring. This is kind of why we didn't want to be having babies all winter. That's another story. But well, and we got a big, we're not used to this yeah. wet of weather right now. So. We're not used to this rain in the fall. I mean, this in the is, winter, it's crazy. So this is good, this is good to this is good to prepare Rocket for Burrow all types. Rocket Burrow 2.0 is in the works, you know? Yes. Yeah, the, so you, you live and you learn. But it um, looks like we have one baby that is well done, doing very well out of Belle's litter. So okay. we'll just keep doing what we can. Losses, never easy. Um, I'm here at our friends Art and Homesteading. They're gonna give us a little bit of kindling so we can have enough wood when we decide to burn Pumpkin's body. Um, for those of you who are just joining us, our, our goat that passed away. And so they have some extra kindling that we can have and I'm grateful for that. The weather is not gonna cooperate today. We were planning to do it today. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's too cold, too windy. Um, anyway, so I didn't want to talk openly about these rabbits with Sam around. He is very, very upset. He found the one that had passed away. Not quite sure what happened. Um, on Saturday, so the last vlog that you've seen, we had the rabbits on the table. They were really cute. Everybody seemed really good. And then, um, they said they put them back in the burrow and the burrow looked fine. So, I don't know if Sunday, I mean, we're getting tons of rain. We are not used to this. Our clay soil does not drain well. We do have a drain in place under the buckets, but I don't think enough. So we, we definitely need to do some upgrades to this colony. I'm just not quite sure what happened, um, other than it looks like the babies got wet, didn't know where home was. We have one that is still surviving, um, and we found four deceased in the colony. Sam only knows of one. Good thing he doesn't watch the vlogs, huh? Um, at this time, I'm choosing not to tell him of the other three. We're just gonna leave it um, for now. We'll decide what to tell him later, but no fun. Anyway, I'll get moving. It is way too bad, a bad of weather to be vlogging outside. 
So uh, we'll catch you at home. All right, this is happening. If you don't know what this is, I would like that to be a little fluffier. My yeast might be old. We're gonna try it anyway. Um, sprouted wheat bread. Yeah. <laughs> sprouted wheat bread. I've got some vlogs on that. It's been months since I've made bread. I've been really struggling with my health, I'm trying to fight through that. And uh, it's almost one in the afternoon, so I might be up really late making bread. We'll see how it goes. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, I'm trying to stick to a budget. And homemade bread is better for you anyway, right? But we're really trying to stick to a budget. And so I am really trying to do what I can do to save us some money and still have us some food in the house. I sprouted these berries a long time ago and they still smell very fresh and nice. So I know there was a question on one of the, on one of the vlogs about how long the sprouts last, um, but they seem to be really good. I do a mix of red and white wheat, and um, I'll link the bread video on the end. You go make that into flour. I'll try. You're a ninja, thank you. I can make this bread, anybody can make this bread. I am a little bit concerned that my yeast did not grow as much as I would like it to, but it is winter time, it is cold. I'm going to be utilizing my grow mats um, to get this bread risen faster. What has happened in here, Missy? over my laundry <laughs> so Missy didn't get the tray pushed in all the way to the Nutramill so yes we have a little bit of a mess but we have a great vacuum and we're gonna clean it up it's called rolling with the punches laundry needed to be done anyway today so that'll be fine and it wasn't my sprouted berries thankfully it was just my um, just regular wheat because we're trying to feed our sourdough starter. So it's okay. Um, I am gonna go ahead and use our heat mat, like personal use heat mat, like just our heat mat, to do the first rise. And then I'll use the seed mats for the second rise because I have found that with bread, um, if, you, if it rises too quickly in the pans, then you get big air holes. So we're gonna do different items and we'll get this done. And uh, this is rolling with the punches, aren't we, miss? Mm -hmm. You go grind us some more. Yeah. Okay. Success? Yes. Awesome. Let's feed your starter. Missy can eat that bread, the, um, the sourdough start. Missy can actually eat it, so with her gluten intolerance. But we've sadly, sadly neglected it. So we'll see if it's going to work. All right, so the starter had a pretty dark fluid on top. Poured it off. Scraped off the top of it. We'll see, hopefully I didn't kill it. Um, and I can never remember the ratios. I think it's the same amount of water as starter, and then you add flour. So um, hopefully in the next day or two, we will know if it works. I also have a gluten intolerance, so I really struggle touching it. This is kind of stressful for me. I just won't lick it. All right, we'll stick that back in the fridge. Hope it grows. All right, I'm liking the consistency of this. Like I said, it's been a long time. I really want a new mixer. I want to get a Bosch. I'm not happy with the KitchenAid for bread, mostly because I can only make two loaves at a time. And for a family of my size that eats bread, I'm just, but you know, you use what you've got and that's what I've got. So we'll get this on a heat mat to rise. You found a key. She is dying to check on our bread. Should we check on it? <gasps> Don't touch it, it's getting bigger. She wants to check on it because she likes to eat it. <laughs> I want to eat all of it. <laughs> she loves to eat dough because she's gross. <laughs> 
Now her grandma does the same thing. I think it's fun. I don't like to eat dough, but it's about halfway there. So then we'll get I want it. Some. Then we'll get it into some pans. Cover it back up. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. So it's the end of <laughs> the pay period. Those are dusty. They're dusty because I made them last season. Not this last fall, but the year before. So this beautiful applesauce and these awesome pickles. The kids are desperate for some snacks, so I'm excited they're using my homegrown stuff. <laughs> and they need to get used up. I'm not sure what the shelf life is on these items. I have never made pickles before, but um, according to Rose at Wholesome Roots, these are like the best pickles. So. Apparently I'm amazing. I and this is delicious applesauce that were we'll open. They were home <gasps> porridge apples. A friend of mine gave them to us. And they're so good. We made that in the instant pot. Yeah, also oh. we have this. Dad gave her those. <laughs> How is it? Good. Hit or miss. Sometimes they eat it, sometimes they don't. How is it, Sam? Good. Miss, is it good? Emma does not have play practice today, so she'll be home in about 45 minutes. And I'm so excited I don't have to go pick her up from school. And it's just nice that she can have a down day. She gets kind of cranky by the end of the week. I hear a lot of like banging noises. What is this dog doing upstairs? What were you doing? <laughs> doing gymnastics on my bed probably. <laughs> Look who's walking in the door. Hello, child. Hi. How was school? It was good. Good. Yeah. So, good day at school? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Good, good. Really cold and windy. Like, yeah, it was really gross. cold. And you have to walk from school mm -hmm. to school because all of the school is not in one school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it was really cold. Really yeah. Really windy. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't fly to Oz. Me too. Or to NASA. Or to NASA, yep. <laughs> Look what I did today. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Right? It's about to become loaves. purpose we'll check back in so it's been such a productive day this has been really great Jonah's out in the garage I'm trying to get my shoes put on with one hand but um, let's go check on Jonah and <laughs> he's not out here where did he go um, I know he's been working really hard on a project out here also this how cool is this we have this old propane heater from the our previous home so he's hooked it up to a tank and instant heat when he's working out in the garage here in the really, really, really cold winter. Um, where'd it go? You're back. It came out here looking for you and you were gone. Hey. Hey, it came out looking for you and you were gone. <laughs> I'm working on the door for the chicken coop. Oh, awesome. So, awesome. Get it to fit. Awesome. Any headway on the rabbit feeder, or no, is that another day? I got sidetracked with this. So no, this is great. I'll probably, I mean, I, I have time to do it, so I'll do okay. that next. Yeah, no worries. Make time to relax, too. This saw will be really fun for you to move back <laughs> when it's time to put the Jeep in. Oh, I know. That's the worst thing about this stupid <laughs> this thing. A big, it's awesome, heavy. heavy saw. <clears throat> so I want to get, like, some heavy-duty wheels. I know I can do it to mount on the bottom of this and then they're lockable so I can lock it in place but then I could just roll it in and out. It would make me way more effective Effective, and it'd be easier to think of, okay, I got to haul that out to <laughs> do this project instead of putting the project off. Yes, building a homestead one wheel at a time, right? <laughs> There's always so much. But um, we're, I mean, we're grateful for the saw, but moving it is cumbersome. Well, if we can make it easier, it'll just be easier to do job. Get your 
want to do projects, right? If you have the right tools. Work harder, not smarter. No, work smarter, <laughs> not harder. Awesome. I am special. So yeah, I think I can find some on Amazon or something. I've seen them at the ranch stores, so they've got to have them online somewhere. For sure. We've struggled because at the ranch stores, they only have one or two. Caster wheels, I think that's what they are. Caster wheels. So if anybody has any wheel suggestions, pop them in the comments below. I need a ponytail. <laughs> Give me a ponytail. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anytime I put my face down, I can't work out there. <laughs> Long hair can be obnoxious. And then like Emma was saying earlier, when you're out in the wind, it, your face gets in your hair. Yeah. <laughs> Super face, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just blows all over. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Okay, how does that feel? Good, thank you. Good, you're welcome. Back to work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just found out Sarah's been upstairs sleeping for the past who knows how long. Sam's up there playing on the Xbox and uh, she's curled up on my bed in her little mermaid crochet tail. <laughs> you know, I like going to bed at night at a decent hour. You know, we're usually in bed pretty early and so She's not going to be in bed early, so that's not going to be the funnest thing ever. The mermaid has made her way downstairs. You look cute and comfy. I love you. I forgot about the bread! That looks amazing. I've got the um, oven preheating. And we'll get this cooked, perfect timing. And it's only almost six o'clock at night. So this bread ended up going very quickly. I'm grateful that I won't be up all night making bread. I love the sounds from the garage. Let's see what he's up to. You look awesome. Huh? You look awesome. Oh, thanks. I made a mistake, so I gotta undo some stuff. But... Sad word. So this is just pallet wood? Yeah. It's actually very pretty. Yeah, I broke down a couple of them. Awesome! You're amazing! This is so cool, using repurposed wood. I'm sorry that you have to fix it though. It smells so good in here. We've the got light some... bulbs are really light. Yeah, Jonah switched out some light bulbs today. He's been amazing! We have... We were making this... Um, what's it called? Step up, please. Uh, pot pie. Pot chicken pot pie soup or something. We're adapting it to um, my dietary needs. Creamy chicken pot pie soup with Parmesan drop biscuits. We're not doing the biscuits and we're adapting the recipe to fit my needs using we're some biscuits? No, we're not making goat's milk and cassava flour. I am doing the keto diet, um, so it's a minimal amount of the cassava flour. I hope it'll be good. Oh, delicious. I made a couple recipe adapt. I added some nutritional yeast. So good. I am excited. All right. I think it's done. I, because I'm awesome, forgot to set the timer. But that smells done. done. I like to see a little bit of a better rise on the top. But okay. we're going to take what we can get. What's up? Just checking in? Yeah. Oh, just got the roof to build. Awesome! I love it! I love it! Oh my gosh, I love it. Did you want any soup brought out or are you good? What? Soup? I made some delicious chicken pot pie soup. Uh, I'll come in and eat it. Okay. Awesome. Right. Thank you. Yeah, this looks so awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yes! Not all the way done, but... Close enough. Oh my gosh! I love it! I want one in my house. I like the rustic look. <laughs> so I'm gonna make it so the roof hinges up so you can fill it with hay. Is that so cool, Sam? <laughs> what do you think, buddy? I just gotta get the hinges. I don't have any of the right style that I need. Okay. Oh my heck, that is so cool. And I feel like they'll be somewhat protected from aerial predators while they're eating. So, it's actually got... Is that... 
Too far out? No, I think that's really good. What do you think, Sam? I think I like it. I think that's amazing. It's been a great day. Um, got a lot done. Yes, we did. And we'd like to thank you for joining us today here on our crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully Jonah doesn't break his back. Moving your saw back. Well, tomorrow's vlog will show this <laughs> in the rabbit pen and yes, and then show the rabbits using it. So That'll be so stay awesome. Stay tuned. Can I see the bread? Wow. Wow. Everybody wants to try the bread. I'm a little bit sad. Sam, shush. I'm a little sad that it's kind of whatever in the front, but you know what? It's food. And look right here. And it's homemade food. I know my thumb. My thumb went through that. Because I'm pretty dang amazing. Bread, 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 bread. Hey, homemade bread has been known to reduce school stress. No. Uh, would you like some? Yes, 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 I would like some. Okay. When everyone stops screaming and Missy stops grabbing the fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They seriously could eat the whole loaf though. Bring it back. Oh, what you should do for this? Because you should have a loaf of bread for each child. I will smack you with the slime. Don't get back. Come on, bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, stop being gross. Oh, you want that piece, Sarah? I do. That's beautiful. I forgot I've got an awesome bread bag. I'm so Yay. excited. So excited. I love this bread bag. Apparently I need another one because, well, they might both fit. Nope, they won't. Oh, uh, it's all right. We can use a plastic one, but. Yay.